So, hello everybody and welcome to our webinar. Uh, we have chosen a name for it, Imaging Life on a Nanoscale, because we would like to see how nanoseams uh, can help us in the field of life and medical sciences. Before we start uh, with the talks, uh, I would like to give a very brief introduction to the nanoseams, nano which is a nanoscale secondary ion mass spectrometer, as you can see in this figure. Basically, it's a huge microscope, which is uh, able to measure not light, but actually uh, isotopes of all kinds of elements that we can think of. It is possible to measure uh, elements from the practically the same, the whole uh, periodic table, and of course uh, measure them simultaneously up to seven of seven together. The, the very critical uh, advantage or power of nanoseams is that it allows us to do this kind of uh, measurements on a very small scale. We, uh, the, the spatial resolution is about down to 50 nanometers, and therefore we can truly see into individual cells, measure individual microbial cells or subcellular structures in larger cells. Uh, the NanoSIMS facility, the NanoSIMS uh, instrument at Utrecht University is part of a national facility. And I would like to stress this for the people who are joining us in the webinar today. It is a national facility. That means it, it is open to any kind of users, mostly focused on national users from the Netherlands. But of course, we are also open for collaboration with external international partners. The facility as such is embedded in the GeoLab, which is part of, which is a laboratory facility at Utrecht University. It has been running since 2013 and uh, this is the core team. So it is myself who is the scientist behind the facility. Then it is M Michiel Kienhaus, who is the operator of the machine. And then also Katja, Dr. Katja Heister, who is the uh, lab manager of the GeoLab. Now, uh, because we work in the Earth Science Faculty or Earth Science uh, Department, sorry, uh, the main applications that we have been using nanoseams for include applications in the Earth Sciences. So we look at biogeochemical cycles, environmental microbiology. We look at carriers of paleoproxies for the for this research. However, we are very eager to broaden our network of collaborators, and to do that. Uh, we have organized this webinar and the aim of this webinar is to showcase how nanoseams can aid life and medical sciences. To do that, we invited uh, distinguished speakers from this field who will tell us uh, about their uh, research and illustrate how nanoseams can be used in, the, in their respective research. So this, the speakers include uh, Mary Kraft, who is from the University of Illinois, Illinois, sorry, who is doing uh, biomedical research. And uh, then the second speaker will be Matt Steinhauser, who is a cardiologist and associate professor at, of medical research at the University of Pittsburgh. And then Professor uh, Silvio Rizzoli, who is a professor at uh, University Medical Center in Göttingen, Germany. At this point, I would like to thank them very much for for finding the time to talk to us today and for for supporting this webinar. It is great that you accepted our invitation and we are all looking forward to hear your presentations. Uh, before we start the respective presentations, I would like to make a few technical remarks. So the presentations are or will be recorded. If you have any questions, please post them in the chat of the teams. And then we will try to communicate them directly to the speaker or we will do that later when because there can be communication, of course, also after the webinar. If you have any further uh, questions or, or, uh, or comments or anything, please contact us via email, namely to myself. So before. Uh, Sorry, uh, now we are, I think, ready for the presentations. I'm really looking forward to it because this is also a new field for me. So I hope uh, we will all get really inspired by the talks that the speakers will present now. <laughs> 